This segment of Training with Pros is brought to you by Fight Club Canada. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to Gracie Baja Niagara. My name is Vince Matei. I'm a black belt under Master Carlos Gracie Jr. Today I'm going to show some techniques and some tips with regards to having uh, control over a bigger person. As everyone knows, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu was originated for a smaller person to defeat or control a bigger person. So today I'm going to show some really neat techniques to showcase how I can basically control a person who weighs about 60 to 70 pounds heavier. So today I got Matt, my senior student, who's a great competitor but also a, a bigger opponent. So today I'm going to show a number of techniques and some tips to make sure that you do it correctly. So the first thing you want to do is, we're a side control here. The first thing I want to do is, I have to cross face. Against a big guy, we control the head, we control where he moves. So the first thing I do is, I cross face, shoulder goes into the face. The second thing I do is, this hand has to be under hook. If it's not, Matt's going to stick his here, and then he's basically going to go onto his side and start getting up, and then I'm going to be in big trouble. So the first thing I need to do is stabilize two points. The head, and the underhook. So, I get the head, hand goes under, control. Now, the other important part is, I want a gable grip. Very famous wrestler, I put both hands together, lock. Lock him in, pressure's on his face. Now what's important, my chin can never pass his shoulder. That's what I teach my students. If my weight is too far forward, all he has to do is bump, and look, I do a face plant, and I'm stuck. So it's critical. I lock him in completely, especially against a big experienced guy like this. Underneath, lock, gable grip, very important. Now if he tries to bump or does anything, right, my chin's down, he's feeling the brunt of my weight right on him, it's going to stop him from breathing correctly and I'm putting a lot of pressure. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is, I want to kill this arm, alright guys? So what I'm doing is, I'm locking him in. What I want to do now is, this hand is just going to grip underneath. I still have the cross face. This hand is here, because I don't want to let go on him bumping. He bumps. If this hand's not bracing, I'm going to be knocked over. So, I'm here. I got this basically hooking his head still, and underneath his armpit. This hand is braced. All I want to do now is drop my hip. Right? And all I want to do now is, I'm still braced here, I want to scoot my butt back. What I do is I open up his right arm that's close to my hip. Once I do that, all right, this hand comes over, locks him in nice and tight. My hand is underneath his armpit. I got control. He still can't see anything, he's still not panicking. He's doing the right defense. He's bracing off here, he's doing the right defense. I want to make sure I have enough space here and that's why I boot my hip up to allow me to put my legs through. The next thing I do, grab my foot, shoot it through. Now once I do this, it's important that this hand has to stop him from actually going here to put me back in half guard. So it's critical, once my hand is here, I have this control, my hand's here. I'm waiting for him to stick his hand here. When he does that, my hand goes under, plants, and allows me to mount. Critical that I don't think about going to a submission yet. Position first, then submission. I am like a table. One leg, two legs, three, four. Down, again, weights down. It's like I'm gonna surf that way, and I have total control of that. Okay? Now, full speed. Again, control, locked. What I wanna do now is drop my hip, start scooting, switch. Lock his head, grab beneath his armpit. Start scooting, scooting. Quick grab, down. He starts coming with his arm, up, down position. If it was competition, it would be four points from this position. 